per our tradition of how to style color series, I'm going to share with you all of the pieces that I have in today's color, which is orange. So starting off with my nails, this is tiger. Then we have carrot, apricot, dijon, ochre, orange, or a neon version of orange. Technically, all of the brown colors are part of the orange family, but I did do a dedicated video of how to style brown, so I'm not going to talk about brown in today's video. If you're interested in color psychology like I am, orange is the color of encouragement. The combination of yellow and red makes orange convey excitement, warmth, and enthusiasm social and inviting. This is the color of the extrovert, exuding happiness and joy, releasing inhibitions. Orange is a motivating and encouraging color that appeals to young people. In terms of the emotions that orange provoke, those are optimistic, independent, adventurous, creativity, and fun. And because of that, you see orange in a lot of art, food, entertainment, industries that aim to bring people joy. And this is, I believe, why orange is actually gaining a lot of popularity in the current season. We're all longing for this excitement and happiness and warmth in our lives. The first way to style orange, as you can see here, is to wear it as accessories throughout your neutral outfit. So what I did here is obviously painted my nails orange. I have some corally orangey earrings. I even have orange hair claw. And I also have this beautiful pop of neon orange bag. If you have seen any of my past styling color videos, you'll know that I use this trick in every single color. If you're not comfortable, if you're not sure a particular color is for you, your style, your skin tone, just always start with the accessories. So what it does, especially against a warmer neutral background, as you can see, these are all creamy, beige, white type of colors. They give you the similar warmth that orange does. So they just blend very naturally with orange while still serving as a canvas for your pop of orange to shine. This is also the most fail-safe, subtle way to incorporate orange in your wardrobe. I really feel like starting with the nail color could best tell you whether this particular color fits your skin tone. So as you can see, I have quite warm skin and with the warmth of orange, I feel like it just really blend very well with my skin while still pop from my skin. And this also explains why I have quite a few orange or orange related colors in my wardrobe. However, if you are not the biggest fan of warm tone neutrals, as you can see, I change up my outfit with cooler tone neutrals of the blacks, the very stark whites or the grays of the world. And orange really stands out even more against a cooler tone neutral background. If you compare this outfit with the previous outfit, you can immediately see the contrast is a little more obvious with this particular outfit. So the next time when you're considering wearing all black or when you're going out at night, I highly recommend trying pairing the orange accessory with your black outfit. It really could help you maintain a neutral wardrobe, however, still make your outfit very interesting. If you love bold colors and you really want to incorporate orange in your outfit, I would look into the colors that are next to the color orange in the color wheel. So that is the red, as well as the yellows. So in this outfit example, I have an orange top with this really gorgeous floral patterned skirt that's mainly, I would say, featuring kind of pinks, reds with pops of orange that really goes well with the top. And then at the bottom, I have this really beautiful golden yellow colored pair of shoes. And because these colors are right next to each other on the color wheel, they just visually look very pleasing to the eye. You can even add a little pop of orangey red handbag as well as the orangey red lipstick that I'm wearing. This is such a great 
wedding outfit idea if you are looking for some color to wear to weddings i think orange because of the meaning of being enthusiastic being very exciting warming it is just the perfect color to wear to weddings or any type of celebratory events and if you're not comfortable with solid orange pieces you can even look for floral pieces or pattern pieces with orange in the background so this example is a beautiful puff sleeve top with yellow orange pinks that just visually looks so good because these colors are very close on the color wheel and this example of a neon orange sweater that also has neon pink neon green again just colors that are close to each other on the color wheel will just visually almost add more depth to the orange color imagine this sweater being just solid orange it's not going to be as exciting or interesting as now it has almost like a very subtle color blocking of orange as well as the colors next to it on the color wheel and because brown is basically the darker shade of orange you can also look into brown plus orange type of printed pieces like this dress that i've actually featured in quite a few of my videos now if you love to play with color blocking like i do then go for colors on the opposite of the color wheel than orange so on the opposite orange you'll see the blues and the purples of the world as you can see against blue orange just stands out more but visually it is still a very pleasing to the eye pairing so take it almost to the darker end of the colors go for a brown skirt with a navy top that is always going to be a fail safe color combination and i talked about that in my how to style brown video as well now it's probably not the easiest to find an orange bottom so just swap the order where you have an orange top and a blue bottom love this pairing it's so youthful this kind of reminds me of how i styled my yellow silk top in a recent video with this exact same tweed dress and this color combination makes me feel so happy again this top is more on the yellow side or mustardy orange yellow side rather than a true orange but it really does bring out the similar feelings that orange evokes this almost feels like an actual words outfit i don't know it just really makes me want to play and engage with people when wearing a color combination like this something we all have in our wardrobe is a pair of blue denim so definitely don't forget a pair of blue denim maybe if you have a pair of blue shoes with orange and i also layered on a rather summery orange top over my mustardy orange sweater and this also goes to show that if you're really into the color orange you don't have to go all out and turn your wardrobe into a wardrobe of pumpkin colors you can play around with layering don't be afraid to layer your summer pieces over your fall winter pieces you might be surprised i actually really love the pairing of these two orangey colors add a slightly different shade of orange back now you have multiple layers of orange happening and this outfit even though very easy and simple to put together is quite different from what you typically see on the streets as with any of the final outfits in my color series you've got to go head to toe the same color but the trick here is if you are going truly for head to toe orange i would recommend layering different textures different shades brightness types of orange items and just embrace and have an orange explosion in all of the possible variations this is i'll be honest not an outfit that i will probably wear out but for the right occasion this is the outfit that truly will make you stand out in the crowd so take this as Kind of a rule of thumb for styling monochromatic looks monochromatic doesn't equal monotone so you don't have to go for the exact same shade or the exact same material and in fact the more varieties you have the more 
interesting your monochromatic looks will be. Let me know in the comments below what other colors you would like me to style and I will see you in one of these ones. Bye!